The end of slavery was really the beginning of a whole new system of oppression for black people in the U.S. So after the Civil War ended and the Reconstruction and Rebuilding era began, Southern whites were none too happy that black folks were able to vote, hold office, and own property right alongside them. Local and state governments of the South started passing black codes, a series of laws that dictated where black people could work, where they could live, and whether or not they could vote. This is when the KKK became a thing. In 1877, President Rutherford B. Hayes pulled all federal troops out of the South, ending the protections for newly freed slaves. Southern whites began to reassert their power over blacks politically, economically, and legally. These restrictive laws came to be known as Jim Crow laws, named after a blackface minstrel character from the 1830s, played by white actor Thomas Dartmouth Daddy Rice. The character was created as a mocking depiction of a dim-witted, clumsy, enslaved black man. The Supreme Court case in 1896, called Plessy v. Ferguson, established the separate but equal doctrine that made Jim Crow laws standard practice in the South for decades. It would take another 60 years to get rid of legal segregation, with Brown v. Board of Education in 1954.